glorify you. We edify you. We lift your name up. And we give your name praise. Before we ask God for anything, we have to thank him for everything. Come on. In your mouth, church. And bless his high name. Psalms 40, verse 1 says, I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horror, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and trust in the Lord. I want you to begin to worship God and to begin to worship and magnify his holy and righteous name. For the Lord is good. I don't hear you. I said, For the Lord is good. And he's worthy to be praised. Minister Kelly is coming to open us up with prayer at this time.
help her. The Lord is my So that's all you need to do is just throw the word out. It will ground you. It will sustain you. It will be your bullet that targets the enemy. Here it is in our scripture today. After Jesus coming out of the wilderness, being taken of the devil and winning the battle, he won the battle. He won the battle. God is having me slow down here. He's having me slow down here to help you out and say, just because you made it in this service, you won the battle. I love it. I don't know where to praise him. Come on, I'm trying to give you some clues. I'm trying to slow it down a little bit. Just because you made it in the house of God. Somebody say, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I didn't come out of hell to be a loser. I didn't, I didn't fight all of these demons in my house, around my house, around the corner, up the street, down the hill, up the hill. I didn't fight all of these demons, these principalities, these wickedness in high places just to be a loser. I'm fighting what to win? Jesus is out of the wilderness and he is a winner. He's a winner. Who did he beat up? He beat Satan himself. Yes, 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 yes. You can't put no demon on Jesus. No, no. You can't, do, you can't put no little weakling on Jesus. You got to send out your biggest. Okay. Well, you send out his biggest. And I can tell you that even hell lost with their biggest yes, champion. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you ain't helping me out today. Come on, check off your sleepiness. It's one o'clock. Come on, you got Himself lost to our master. Why should you be defeated right now? Yes, sir. That's the question that I'm asking you. Why should you be defeated right now when Jesus already defeated them? When, when, when Jesus went against the enemy, he beat him. As my bishop would say, he blacked his eye. He, he stumped him in the face. And you walking around here with your head hung down. No, the devil is alive. The devil is defeated. The victory. Oh, yeah. Why do I got it? Because this happened in the past. Jesus already did it. And if he did it already, you got to walk in your authority right now. I need you to open your big mouth and say, I have the victory no matter how I feel. No matter how it looks like. I don't walk by sight, I walk by faith. I don't care what it looks like. It may look like I'm losing, but I will not lose. Jesus already gave me what he gave me. He gave me total victory. He gave me total victory. I'm talking about victory over your finances, victory over your health, victory over people talking about you. You know you just stuff on people talking about you, the, the opinions of people, your friends walking out of your life. I tell you, he gave you total victory. Yeah. I need to holler through the mask and help everybody else as they can hear me on the mic and look up and down your road and tell them he gave us total victory. He gave us total victory. He gave us total victory. He gave us victory, victory, victory. V I C T O R Y. Us. Who shall stand be up for us when we call on that great name? Somebody holler, Jesus, Jesus. That's what we call him, Jesus. There's victory and power in his name. Who will stand against me when I got the greatest name? I'm not, I'm not running around here with pedigree because I'm not a billionaire. I'm not here like Trump. I don't have Oprah Winfrey in my bloodline. I'm James Hayes that carry the name Jesus. And that's all I really need. I don't need to know anybody in the White House. I carry the man, the name that matters that's above every house. What's his name? I need you to holler it. Jesus. Jesus, the carriers of his name. 
name. We're not defeated when we got the name of Jesus. Jesus walks out of the wilderness and he is victorious. The Bible describes that he's so victorious that he walks out of it with the power of the Spirit. I'm glad I stopped there and opened up at the 14th verse. When you walk out of a situation, you should be powerful. Yeah, yeah. After every battle that you fight, it should boost your morale and say, I'm coming out of this power. I'm not coming out of this strength. I'm coming out with, I need to help me out. What are you coming out with? Power to walk right. Power to talk right. Power to tread upon serpents and do more damage to hell. I get out of here with the power of the Spirit. I walked in here because I was fasting. You got to have a fast victory. You got to have a fast victory. You can't do it with your flesh. Your flesh will lose you every time. You got to go on a fast. I'm calling this to a fast. Thursday, Thursday is a fast day. I'm trying to help you out because we're going to have a fast victory in this season. A, a fast victory. I'm talking about a fast victory. But I'm, I'm crucifying the flesh. I'm tormenting every lustful thought that's trying to rise up in my spirit. I got to have a fast victory. Somebody help me out and say a fast victory. Jesus got a fast victory and he walked out of it weak. No, that's not what the Bible says. He walked out humble. No. That's not what he said. And he walked out here like, I oh, don't want no more problems. No, he walked out of there, still fast with power. He walked, he walked out up there, out of the wilderness with power. I'm trying to help you out the days that when you come out of 2020, this coronavirus season, you better be walking out of this corona season with power. I think Corona bad, the future is bad. Yes, sir. I'm just going to try to help you out. You think Corona is bad? You think wearing a mask is bad? No, some other things that's coming is worse than this. I ain't trying to fear you. I'm just trying to make you come out with power. Yes, I will not be the man of God that will get you up in here dancing and not prepare you for the future. You walk out of the wilderness with power. Where are you going to walk out of your battle with power? Where are you going to walk out of your issue? Where are you going to walk out of your circumstance? You got to walk out of it with power. Jesus, he walks out in the power of the Spirit, and he became famous because of his walk. He became famous because he was not wanting misery to follow him because you know misery loves something. Yes, it does. Uh, yes, it does. You know, and, 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 you know you, you want people to feel bad for you mm -hmm. and they want you to hang your head down mm -hmm. and feel sorry for you because mm -hmm. woe is me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, Jesus, he did not, he did not feel no waste time. He said, I have to go to the next yes, city. Lord. He said, I have to go and do the next work. After you, after, after you finish battling, you got to get to work. I'm trying to help somebody out here today because a lot of us, we want to take a break when we finish a fight. There's no break in the kingdom of God. Not when the devil is after us for a season and he just flees for a season, but he's going to come back and he's going to come back to those that's just sitting complacent. So, Jesus... After a battle, he goes to work. Yes, Lord. I don't, I don't want you to. I don't want you to misunderstand me. I want you to take a time of rest for you and yourself for replenishing. But understand, you can't take a break. My Lord, you can take a rest, but you can't take a break. Jesus moves in the power of the Spirit, and fame begins to go about him. They didn't know what he was dealing with in the wilderness. But I can tell you one thing, that people don't want you to come out of something that they see you go into. No, no. They, they saw him go into the wilderness, and a, lot of, and a lot of people don't come out of the wilderness. 
So, so people are looking at you when you're going into your issue, but they don't want to see you come out of it. They're looking, they're looking, looking, and they say, I see him going in there, and he's already weak. They see him already trembling because he's been fasting. He's going to be gobbled up. He's going to be wasted. He's going to, that ain't really the Messiah. That's just a man fragile. Come on. You know how people just sit there and look at you. So they will look at you, baby. You're looking at them, and you're looking at their condition, saying they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. But that's not the word over our life. The word over our life is that I'm going to make it. I don't hear nobody in here. The word over my life is that I am victorious. I will not die in the place where you think I'm going to die. Uh, where you want me to die. No, the enemy is a lie. The devil is a lie. I am going to live to declare the works of the Lord. Well, they sit here, they see him going to Galilee out of the wilderness. I need you to say it. I'm coming out of my wilderness. I'm coming out of my wilderness and I'm coming out and my enemies will be watching me come out. Yes, sir. Come out with power. He comes out with power. Yes, And they're watching him and they're now cheering him because he's out. With the hand claps on, of people that seen you come out and now wants to celebrate you. Yeah, they, they, they only celebrate you just, just, just to see you go through another storm. That's right. That's right. They're going to pump you up and, and support you and, and grab you and say, oh, they're doing a wonderful thing. No, no, you didn't pray for me while I was going through it. Now you want to clap for me when I'm going out. So here's the fame. Jesus got the fame, but he didn't get the big head. My Lord, now. He didn't get the big head. He didn't get the big head. He did not get the big head. He said, you can clap for me, but now I got a word for you. I got a word for you because the spirit of the Lord is upon me. That's what he said. He said, it's upon me because he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. I'm not coming to you that are so, so prissy. I'm not coming to you that's all big and nonchalant bougie. That's what I'm trying to find. Yeah. Bougie. I'm not trying to be for y'all people that's just going to pit and pat me. But I'm going to the poor. I'm going to those that are low. Because you can't do nothing with those that are low. But I come to bring them up. I come to bring them out. I He sent me to heal the broken hearted. He, he told me to preach deliverance to the captives. He told me to recover the sight to the blind. And to set at liberty them that are bruised. So I gotta tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing is that if you're not honest in this hour of what you really need from God, God ain't going to be able to heal, heal you from your condition. Can I help you out when you try to act bougie and just try to be what, 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 what you really ain't? What you really ain't. See, a lot of people say they deliver, but really not walking in deliverance. So you're doing the same thing. You got to tell God that you're really stuck and you need help. God, I'm poor. Come on, let's be honest in this season. I'm poor. I'm because that's who he sent to. Preach the gospel. We're coming to those that are self righteous and all that. Just do what they want to do and say, I got it all together. I got my eyes, I crossed my teeth. He's coming to those that are broken. Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. He's walking with power and with authority, and he opens the book. Yes, Lord. He opens the book oh, and he reads us. Oh, he reads our condition. Because if we are truthful, if we are honest, we need the gospel. If we're truthful and we're honest, we're poor, we're broken, we are not delivered because we're captive. If we tell the truth, we are blind, we are bruised. Be honest. 
Mm. Right. Allow God to diagnose our condition. Yes, we can receive the healing that we really need. You can't walk in authority when you are walking in a lie. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. I'm trying to help somebody out today. I'm trying to help somebody out today. That's right. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not walking around here with my head up in the air in the clouds. <laughs> walking with my head up looking to the hills. No, no, no. Y'all looking at me saying Reason that I don't have no problem. No, I do have a problem, but I'm looking to the hills. Yes, Lord Jesus. From where it's coming to from the Lord. He did not give me the authority to walk around here like this because that's where the devil is. He wants me to keep my eye on him. Coming to you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Coming to you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Coming to you. Thank you, Lord. Captive in the issues of my life mm -hmm. because I need a new walk. Yes, Lord oh. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We've been talking for years about the Holy Ghost, but we really don't have it. My Lord, say it, say it, say it, say it. Uh, the Holy Ghost is not in a praise work. Good Lord, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Um, the minstrels. I'm, I'm so glad that you're here. And I'm so glad you're part of us. That the Holy Ghost ain't in the music. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ah! The Holy Ghost ain't in the theatrics of singing. My Lord Hi. Jesus, Jesus. The Holy Ghost is in the power of yes, God. Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's about things that prematurely dies. If we have the real Holy Ghost, yes. we call it back to life. Yes. Walking in authority because Jesus beat up Satan for you. Thank you, Lord. He beat up Satan and he said, This is the acceptable year of the Lord. I know everything is going wrong in your life, but you need to accept it. This is the year of the Lord. I, I, I know 2020 did a twist, did a flip, did a cartwheel, a backwards flip, did, did, did all kind of drop kicks, and uh, um, I'm trying to think of these drastic moves, these headlocks, it puts you off in all kinds of spots that you didn't even know it was coming. I know it caught you all surprised, but I want to tell you that this is the acceptable year of all. Why do you say that? Thank you, Jesus. Why do you say that? It's because the Lord is in control. Yes, Lord. The Lord is in control. Yes, He's in control. He's trying to get us the yes, church. Yes, the church that's been speaking about power. He wants the church to really have power. He's trying to have us come together to be who we're called to be. Not these fake, greasy people that we have been accustomed to create in our pews. No, we need to break that culture of tradition and say it's not about our clothes, it's not about our hairstyle, it's not about the suits or the dresses that we wear, it's not about the cars that we drive, but it's about the power of God that resides on the inside of us. We need a revival. What does a revival mean? A revival means that something used to be dead. Something needs to be alive that, that you have caused to die. Oh, no. So the revival is we need a revival. Yes, we need a revival. We need a revival. We need y'all to wake up yes, that which is dormant on the inside of you. You have let, you have let, you have let something that is powerful, that is unique, that's only designed for you to carry, you have allowed it to die. God is trying to say, this is acceptable year. Yes, Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What he did, he astonished them. Everybody thought he was going to do a big old lofty sermon. Close the book. My Lord Jesus. 
close the book. Normally, the way that Jesus could do it, mm. walk to a seat. Sit. Oh, Jesus. Sit down. Oh, what, what does that sitting down mean? Oh, Jesus. Is that sitting down mean? I'm not going to add to it. I'm not going to take away from it. Oh, no, that's the I'm going to let you know that I'm seated. Seated. In heavenly places. Oh, no, working it out for you. Thank you. Because the word of God is the only thing that you need in yes. this season to understand that this is acceptable to you, the Lord. I come to sit down and let you know. Come to Lord Jesus. That you don't have to worry about Thank a thing. The word has gone forth. Yes, sir. And it will accomplish what we set out to do. I don't need to do anything. The word is already yes, gone out. I need mean, to hover, hover over your head and say, there's a word over my life. And it has to come to pass. Come on, you got to say it by faith. There's a word over my life. And it has to come to pass. Jesus He's already given us the word. Yes, and what did he say Lord Jesus. to everybody that was looking at Jesus? Well, I had something to it. Well, I had something to it. He sat right there. Yes, Lord. Sat right there and looked at him and said, Before your eyes. What did he say? Read, read verse 21. It's fulfilled. Yes, Lord. In your ears. In your ears. I, I was going to try to say eyes again. But it's in your ears. Yes, Lord. And I, I said to I said to a young lady who I was ministering to yesterday, the only reason why I go see your eyes is because your ears are closed. Yes, Lord. 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 Season, you need your ears to be open to hear what God is going to say. Yes, Lord God. So, right now, the scripture is fulfilled right in your ears. Jesus walked in authority. Yes, Lord. Why can't you? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus yes, Lord. walked in authority. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. What about you? Thank you, Jesus. Can you walk like Jesus? Last week I told you, if Peter can walk on water, somebody else can walk on water. Come on. Can you do and walk in authority? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Out of your flesh, you can walk in authority. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Get out of your habits. You can walk in authority. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Get into a focus. Yes, Jesus. The consecrated life. Yes, Lord. To walk in authority. Thank you, God. I'm done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You see? Thank get something new. Thank you, Lord. And, and then you want to start me. Start my time now. I've already preached 30 minutes. Y'all ain't gonna give me another 30 minutes. I know, I know. That's how you're doing, man. You try to, you try to confuse me. You want me to keep on preaching? You say I ain't preach? <laughs> Walk in the Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Walk in authority. Yes, Lord. Why do you walk in authority? It's because you have the victory. Thank you, Jesus. You have the power of God. I'm praying. I'm praying. This is my prayer. That we, I'm praying that this temple be a representation in the kingdom. That we don't just talk church. My Lord Jesus. That we don't just have church. But we really are the church. Amen. Right. Amen. And I've never seen the church defeated. Amen. I've never seen the church in an uproar as much as it is now. I've never seen the church reach 
and not displaying the power of God. Can you rise with me as we get ready to go? I need you to confess.
I need you to pray it, God. I need you to put a praise on it. Because God is about to give you access. And with that access, it's going to be you for you. Give a praise in advance. Knowing that with that authority, we're going to reign with him. We're going to walk with him. Come on, 60 seconds. Begin to give God the glory. I'm talking to the Lord. 
There will be a special drawing for those in our evangelism and outreach ministry. We want you to be a part in being a witness and adding to the kingdom. Yes. We're not just here to be sitting in church, not to be adding to the kingdom. Amen? Amen. 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 While our witness is back, so come have fun with us every four weeks at 10 p.m. on our Zoom. You can find out the information on our church Facebook uh, page and our church website. Um, if you have any complications or anything or questions, please contact Elder Lewis Richardson and Sister Lisa Lockhart. Um, youth Trunk or Treat will be happening on the grounds across the street. This is our property. If you want to participate, please sign up in the foyer right there on our registration table. You can bring your own candy. Well, you can donate some candy if you won't be able to be there. So we want you to be there. Set up will begin at 4 p.m. But it will start August, I mean, October 31st from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. This is a youth Christmas program and production. Um, the youth will be performing a Christmas play on Wednesday, December 23rd at 7 p.m. That's Wednesday, December 23rd at 7 p.m. We will still be doing social distancing, but we know our kids and have a lot of family that would like to partake. They will be able to view that online as well for those that cannot make it because we're still taking COVID-19 serious. Amen. 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 So the next will begin Saturday, October 24th, um, 24th at 10 a.m. Please see the board um, outside in the vestibule for additional rehearsal dates and time. Saturday, November the 7th, the youth will be decorating the church. The decorations in the church, November the 7th. So um, after rehearsal, lunch will be provided. So please contact our youth leaders and officials. As you see, when you was walking through the church, that downstairs gets closed because our youth room is in construction. Yeah. Everything is paid for. Everything is done. So all we're doing is just waiting for it to be completed. Somebody say, "What is going to happen this week?" Yeah. I need you to put. A, I need you to put a faith on it. Somebody say, "This week." Yeah. Yeah. As you already see, as you're walking through the doors. Um, a church, and you look on the side of the churches, you see that we're blocking off downstairs because construction is going on downstairs. We're reversing that. Yeah. 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 No, y'all gotta be eating yeah. yeah. so ready. Glory to God. We yeah. want the slow drag me all the time. Take me out of that key. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you cut me off? You better cut me off when I'm uh, having a tangent. <laughs> you know how to hit the button. Oh my God, lay the feet. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to play that and see if you're right and I'll come back and apologize. I'm going to have to play that online. So, anyway, let me we'll back to my regular schedule program. <laughs> Oh, the musician always takes you out 